The Grex Genesis XT Airbrush Combo Kit, the GCK01. A complete kit to get started with airbrushing and everything inside one box. Now let's open it up and see what it all comes with. The first thing you will notice inside is your product registration card, as well as an owner's manual. Also a nice little brochure about different needle and nozzle combos that Grex offers, as well as a little link to how-to videos, tips and tricks, and getting to know your airbrush a little bit better. Another item inside the top of this kit is the six foot braided air hose. This is 1 8 to 1 8 fittings on each end. This is the Grex AC 1810-A compressor. A nice strong little unit that delivers a lot of power in such a compact size. It's just under 10, it's just around 10 pounds has a retractable handle, an on and off switch, an air filter inlet on the bottom here, as well as cushioned feet. It does run on the 115 volt US system, has a pressure regulator, as well as an air filter and moisture trap. And it's also a 1 8 fitting on the end as well. A nice little compressor for its size and strength. Now this leaves me for the XT airbrush itself. Inside the hard case, you will notice it has a quick disconnect coupler, a nozzle wrench, three different cups, the 7, the 15 mil with lids, as well as the 30 mil glass jar. These are side feed, 360 adjustable rotation. Now the airbrush itself does come installed with the quick disconnect coupler already. Um, this one is only on this side. Some of them are adaptable to switch between sides. It does have a round protective cap on the end. These are also threaded on on the XT model. On some of the other Grex versions, they are magnetic. You can switch from side to side. It does come with a slotted protective cap as well. These are still dual action meaning that when you first pull the trigger it will just be air and as you gradually pull there will be paint flow. Another thing I want to mention, the XT comes in the 0.35 millimeter and it also has good Teflon seals. Needle control on the back of the handle as well to adjust the amount of paint that would come out. Now let's hook it all up real quick. So the first thing I'll do is I'll grab my hose, install it on the end of the compressor, regulator side, Then I'll grab my quick disconnect, install it on the other end of your hose. Decide which cup you want to use. Thread it onto the side body here. Whichever angle you plan to use, just tighten it, lock it with this nut on the side here in place, and then just snap it on and you're ready to go. It holds the airbrush on fairly well. It does keep the air in the line when this quick coupler is installed and you can adjust the pressure right here with this dial on the side, the G-Mag valve. And that's it and you're all set to go. Nice little handy kit all in one box to get started with everything you need for airbrushing. Thanks for watching and have fun painting.